pushed me um, and I hit my head. And um, quite a few people had to get involved in, in it to try and sort it out. Um, and it carried on for quite a long time and it sort of frightened me a bit. If people keep telling you you're really bad, you start believing it. So I started believing it. I was just useless and I couldn't do anything and I was just always really miserable and I really didn't want to do anything. When I went to school my mum would always put my glasses on and as soon as I got in the class I would take it off because I didn't want to look different to everyone else. I had no other friends and I was just had to wander around the playground on my own. I'm Louise Burfitt Dons and I'm the founder of Act Against Bullying, a small national charity which helps children who are bullied at school. Here at the charity, we understand the pressures children come under when they're being bullied and can't tell anybody. We raise awareness of all forms of bullying, but in particular the newer, subtler types which are much harder for children to cope with. What I think uh, we're seeing is a rise in uh, tribally ba uh, based bullying. Uh, most of the bullying today appears to be carried out in some sort of tribal situation. I started the charity after my own daughter was bullied at a junior school. I felt I wanted to do something to help parents who were in the same situations I found myself in, but mostly children who were being victimised as my own had been and had nowhere to turn. I began it by writing a simple set of monologues because I'd worked as a playwright and felt I could do just that. I felt I could voice the pain of someone in that situation. These have proven to be very popular across the country. They're in the form of 40 one-minute scenes acting out sensitive situations from which bullying can develop. The bad thing about being bullied by the gang is that you can't tell anyone. I'm sure Sandy would have friends if she wasn't always picked on. I wish the teacher would pick the teams. Then I wouldn't always be left to the end because everyone stares at you like you've got something wrong with you. Our research at Act Against Bullying has led us to believe that the following bullet points can be useful in helping children who are bullied at school. If you can, confide in someone outside school because friends from your class may be too frightened to take your side. You may feel too ashamed of being bullied to tell anyone or think you won't be believed. These are normal feelings. Being bullied is not your fault. If you think there are rumours going around about you or your family which are untrue, and causing you unhappiness, report these to your teacher immediately. He or she will work out how to stop them circulating. Copy some aspect of the group's behaviour to stay in, but not everything. You don't want to lose your special identity no matter what. Your individuality will be an asset one day, so don't throw it away. If someone sticks up for you when you're being picked on, always say thank you. They're more likely to help you again if you do so. Keep a diary. Write everything down, including abusive text messages. They may be needed as a record if you report bullying. We have many other tips like these to counter bullying, and they're available on request. We also highlight bullying by occasionally giving talks in schools. Act Against Bullying also raises awareness of the seriousness of systematic bullying through our campaigns, and these have been very effective. For example, the success of our ongoing Call to Be Kind campaign led us to be invited to represent the United Kingdom in the World Kindness Movement. Our fundraising activities are now supported by celebrities from the world of sport and entertainment. And in July last year, we held the first polo match for anti-bullying at the famous Guards Polo Club in Windsor Great Park. Against Bullying tries to be a voice of comfort but also encouragement to victims, telling them keep going, you can make it through, you can make your dreams come true, you can overcome bullying. Many successful people have also been bullied when they were younger.
When I was a child, I was bullied. I'm six foot two now and 16 stone, and I don't get bullied so much anymore. Bullying in, at, at any stage, whether you're at school or even at work, it happens at work as well. You know, just bullying is just an absolute no-no. It makes your life an absolute misery. I have actually been bullied. There was a, a time when I went to a school in North London, and um, it actually led to my expulsion. I, I suffered terribly at school from uh, bullying, and I was unfortunately sexually abused for many years, and was told that if I told anyone and I would be killed. But you know what? Life goes on and you can grow from that and I've now become a successful TV presenter so all you guys out there that, that think you know your, your world's come to an end, it hasn't, it's just begun. I began Act Against Bullying with a wish to help young people, sometimes very lonely young people, to help re-motivate them, to provide them with some practical information confidentially like when to report the situation or when not to report the situation how to cope if they felt they couldn't tell anyone, even things to try, even if they were very shy or very timid. I wanted to help children like these who were being bullied at school. Thanks to the generosity of sponsors and the commitment of our supporters, I believe Act Against Bullying today is doing just that and is making a difference. Obviously, we'd like to see a complete end to bullying because it literally ruins lives and we're working towards that. But we're also here to send a message to all those who have become isolated and depressed, battling constant bullying for whatever reason, battling the fear, battling the stigma. A message to you if you're watching and you're one of those. You are very, very special to us and the sole reason for what we're doing. Bullying is a nasty offence. It causes alarm, it causes distress, it causes fear. And sometimes the people who are doing the bullying don't appreciate the devastating effect it can have. But take it from me, it's a horrible offence and can lead to very nasty consequences. So if someone's thinking about bullying, cut it out. If someone is bullied, tell someone and there is help.